Is it on? Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. Okay. It's <laughs> Yo, I'm Colin. I'm Narika. I'm Narika. <laughs> yeah, as you can hear, Narika is going through a lot right now, so bear with us for this 20 minutes on your Wednesday, guys. But yeah. Damn bad, but I can still speak. You can. Barely. No. Barely. You have like a deep. You have like a deep. No, one. you're making me sound like <laughs> Lord Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> that that is fun. Sound. She I took didn't. a hold, she took a fisherman's lozenge, so... I had peppermint tea as well. I had peppermint tea. As long as you didn't have a peppermint crisp, I'll respect you. I love peppermint... Because that, cho that chocolate needs to die. Why? Does it fight with you? Uh, that's a, that's a finished chocolate. It's like a chocolate. Just, it woke up and chose mine. You know when they discontinued Lay's salt and vinegar? That should have went with it. Oh my Straight God. out the door. No. Straight out the door, guys. We don't how need are you gonna make? How are you going to make peppermint crisp tart? With what? We take the mint, we take a chocolate, and we mash it together. There like mint from the garden. Peppermint crystal. Oh, yeah, man. What do you mean? How? You are acting wild. Yeah. How are you doing, though? I'm alright. Can't complain. Can't complain. It was Human Rights Day, you know. Celebrating my freedoms. Uh, remembering the Shawful Massacre, you know. So, years in democracy, we, we have freedom. So, yeah, it was that. It was, a, it was a long weekend, public holiday. Not too many years in democracy, though. Not too many years, but we're getting there slowly. I mean, freedom for the people. Uh, yeah, public holiday, people are rocking, you know, I hope everybody's having, enjoying themselves. You know, South Africans, how we love our... But remembering why. Uh, yeah, yeah remembering, remembering why. <laughs> but we love it when it falls on a Sunday, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Give and take, guys. Um, but yeah, what about you? As you can hear, <laughs> my voice... She thought she was going to escape asking what happened on the weekend, you know? How was her week? I think I should just... No, they can't. Um, but I'm just here excited to speak about the football because <laughs> let's just get to it. Let's just get to it. Before my voice <laughs> completely cuts out and it's like cut the cameras halfway through the show. Um, there were some non-televised games. Always joke that there aren't games on TV. GB United said Swallows 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, Swallows. Draw, 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 draw. 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 Draw, draw, draw. Yeah. <laughs> Barack FC, Bloom, what happened? It wasn't a certified dub. 1-1. One, one. Um, Amazulu beat TTM 2-0. No. Four wins for back-to-back -back for Coach Benny and Amazulu, so... Games on TV, Stellenbosch, Supersport, United. That game ended 1-1. One, one. I'm not a delusional fan like Colin. So Stellenbosch did pretty decently. They did. Or I just rated Supersport much higher. I think it's a bit of both. I think Stellenbosch did do decently in the game. i got to give you props. You started off much better than uh, Supersport. You know, you held them the entire game. There wasn't many chances. So, well done. I think Supersport are a slow starter. Um, and Ashley Dupreeze. Again, baller. Week after week after week. So, I mean, I think... Uh, Smell a Bafana call up in the work soon. Like, you know, I'm not talking about the recent games that are coming up, but I mean, soon, give, it a, give, it a, give it a couple of months. You never know, you might be creeping into that AFCON squad if he keeps on those uh, performances, all right? TS Galaxy, Marisburg United. Marisburg won 2 0, which took. Oh. <laughs> Marisburg won, which takes them out of the relegation zone. They do. Good. They do. So, shout out Marisburg. I mean, Uncle Ernst. Ernst Middendorp is finally the. Getting them on track because I think they they unbeaten like three games. They broke a run of TS Galaxy being on form. You know, the game didn't have many chances. You know, came into life in like the last twenty minutes. But I mean, the boys from Maritzburg did and it. Kutumela on the scorecard. Five in five. Game. Five in five. That's amazing. I mean, it makes sense as to why he got called up now into the Bafana squad. So shout out to the boy. Golden Arrows, Cape Town City, one one. You know what, right? Tell, tell when this us. game ended, right? Tell us, Colin. I didn't realize that Cape Town City are seventh in the log. What? Seventh. Seventh in the log. Top eight. But. I thought they were like first. The way we talk about Cape Town City is like they third, they fourth, maybe challenging for a title, you know? Are we, are we putting too much respect on their name? Cape Town City is like that crush you had, you know? Okay. Like when you're on campus, when you're in school. And you see this crush walking past you every day, 
you know, and you're like, should I talk to them, should I talk to them, should I not, you know? And then you talk to them, and it's just not it. No personality. Their voice sounds like yours. And on zero. It's just like a no. It's a... You know? Change your crush. So moral of the story, don't approach your crushes, guys. Just admire them from far, like Cape Town City. Uh, they drew the game 1-1. Exciting game. Exciting game. It was uh, both teams are the top goal scorers in the league. 30 goals each. So we didn't expect an end-to-end game. Just like the reverse fixture earlier on in the season. But it's a point dropped, I guess, for both teams. Two points, Two points dropped. Two points dropped. But Coach Manja is still, you know, second in the log with the boys from, from President. Golden Arrows are really turned the ship around, you know, as a first time, like, head coach, manager of the team, he's really doing the most, so. And fans in the trees outside the stadium. Yeah, guys. I think I'm that type of football fan. Like, you know, like, they, they, they literally playing, like, right here. They're, like, in our backyard, you know. I'm surprised we weren't in the trees. We should have been there. We let them down, you know. But that's just, that's just a sign of how bad fans actually want to be, like, back in the stadium. Especially because Golden Arrows are doing really You bad. know, like, and... We know fans from KZN, we're really like passionate about playing ball. So, guys, every oh, time I'm, I, I'm not going to be in trees because I can't <laughs> climb trees. Yeah, in your state, <laughs> I think you need to rest and not be climbing trees right now. Um, sundowns, black leopards, that was the one. A lot of draws, but goals in these draws. 1 1, black leopards. Black leopards did start off the better team for like the first two minutes, you know? It's like we're running 100 meters and I beat, you over the fir- I, I beat you over the first five. You know, I won in a five meter race, but in the, in the, in the longer distance, I did not win. So, Black Leopards... That makes no sense because Black yeah. Leopards went down they, and then scored. But I'm saying they went points. down. They went down 1-0 and it was just and they one-way found, traffic. It was and, one-way traffic. And then they found something and equalized. Yeah, but like the reason why they found something was because Sundowns were just... <sighs> I don't know if it's like towards it because the last 10 games of the season or so, you know. So like, is it maybe like a bit of like, what's the word, complacency? Like leaking into the minds of the Sundowns players. We don't like to see that, but from the looks of it, that's what it looked like on the pitch because they did. They were kind of toying with Black Leopards in a way and they, the players didn't the players didn't really look serious about going home with three points. Even Coach Mangoba said at the end of the game, he was like, at halftime, he was fighting with the players, being like, guys, you got to take this seriously and be professional. And like, I mean, it showed. Black Clippers came through. And maybe what a they, goal. What a goal, too. Maybe they're just trying to, like, walk on the edge, make life a bit exciting. Nah, I think, I think in that sense, you're playing literally like the bottom of the table team, you know? So you want to be professional about the game. But, like, as long as they stay unbeaten, I'm happy. I think Sundance fans are happy. Fans of the DSTV Prem are happy. You know, we're trying to see an unbeaten season from, from the boys. So, yeah. I think 100% and I think the biggest game of this weekend was the 100th League Soweto Derby. 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 <laughs> Derby. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, apparently scenes, like social media was scenes. Imagine if this had happened It was in Soweto live with fans. I mean, so it was the 50th uh, PSO. Well, 50 Derby in the PSL era, era, you know, 100 of all time. And it was scenes, I mean, they didn't disappoint both teams. I mean... This is not a Chiefs Laundry Report episode. Top tier football knowledge strikes again. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I said it, I called it. I called it. So Kaiser Chiefs fans, I think, because like, you know, when Goku puts his hands up and... Is everyone just the there? energy for the, for the spirit bomb, you know? That's what it was like. Like, we all pushed Chiefs over the edge. And they finally, finally got a dub after 10 games but I think most importantly we got a smile from Gavin at the end we, <laughs> we got a Gavin Hunt came into the post match and the man was joking he was smiling you know he was there you know like to see Keeps the man scattered. Keeps was scattered fam he was happy so well done to Chiefs I mean that game was single handedly probably won by Nurkovic the man big Nurk uh, it wasn't an easy goal that he scored. I mean, he unleashed his inner Olivier Giroud, you know, and might see a Pushkas nomination, maybe, you don't know. Deserves it, though. Deserves it. I mean, you don't, I mean, scoring a bicycle kick in a Soweto derby is not something to just, you know, close your eyes about. Yeah, so to go one up, to score that one goal 
and um, it's not like he didn't have other chances. Yeah, well. he did. It's not like he didn't. I mean, Jabulo Blom also played really well. Shout out to him. I mean, he's been putting in performances, single-handedly probably carrying Chiefs' midfield right now. So he like was spraying the balls. <laughs> Spraying them, unleashing Nurkovic. Just that Nurkovic turned into like a money stain over there, kicking it over the crossbar for some reason. So he did miss chances, but it's not about the chances you miss. It's about the ones that you put in the back of the net. Do you think this win for Chiefs is like a good win to take them into the end of the season? No. How? I say this because... Confidence. I, so it's a derby. I say this because we all know in derbies, Form goes out the window, you know. It's pa- just it's just you playing just off. Vibes. Even though there's no fans, you're still playing off like reputation. It's just and vibes. It is just vibes, you know. <laughs> sure, there's tactics. Sure, there's game plans, everything like that. But like when the whistle blows, the players on the pitch are like, "This is a derby. We're playing for like self pride and respect." So there's that. Also, we've seen Chiefs win games and then go on ten games on, like you know, losing and not I'm winning a single dust. single game, you know. So. I wouldn't say it's a, it's a good win, but like towards the end of the season, maybe momentum, I don't know. So, yeah. I'm hoping it gives them momentum into the end of the season because that'll be really exciting to see that from Gavin Hunt. Um, and the thing I am most excited for coming up, why are you laughing at me? Fine. <laughs> Stop laughing. Fine. I feel like you can still understand what I'm saying. I can. I don't know if they can. Bafana, <laughs> Bafana, international football. The boys, the boys are back. Back to back AFCON qualifiers. Been waiting for a long time, guys. I think we guys. we're three points away from from qualifying for the finals. So second in the group. Level on points. With Ghana. Level on points. Ghana. Ghana. Like Ghana, a nation right. in twenty ten who could have gone. Probably won it. You know, and won the twenty ten World Cup. And those are facts. Those are the facts. We are level on points, nine points each. We do play Ghana and Sudan. And we just need to win one. We just need to win one, right? So, please. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we're asking you as, as, as people, as people of the country, just... Super sane. Just, just three points, guys, please. Put you your know? hands up, guys. Yeah. Give them the energy. Um, yeah, so Ghana come to South Africa, play the first game. Um, what do you think is going to happen? I Considering, th- like... For example, with COVID, oh, yeah. traveling regulations, yeah. like the Ghanaian team is down bad. Yeah, so the IU, yeah, the IU brothers are probably not going to come they're through. They're coming through. They probably have another like, so compared to South Africa, right? Ghana is probably like a football powerhouse in the nation, so they do have a lot of European-based players. So FIFA did rule that certain leagues aren't releasing their players back into playing Afcon qualifiers. So a lot of the teams are not going to have their top players, you know. So in a way, South Africa benefits, right? In a way. You have to trust the South Africans to always make a plan. Make a plan, right? Even though South Africa also doesn't have, I think... They have quite, like, some big quite hitters. Quite a few. Quite Keegan, Bungani Zungu. You see? Uh, Dean Furman. So that's basically... Solani Serrero. Basically our whole midfield and a couple of tackles over there just gone, like gone. first choice. But it doesn't matter because we have our stars in the DSTP Prim who are here to, to help us. I mean, we got a couple of debuts. Sipon Bule from Supersport, I mean, he did play a couple of Kusafa Cup games, but that's like, this sure, it's, it's Bafana Bafana, but like, it's Bafana Bafana, like, it's African, only African based players, Bafana you know? Bafana light. Light, you know? No disrespect on the players who made the squad, right? But like, it's not a, it's not an international world, like World Cup or AFCON, Continental Cup, you know what I'm saying? So we do have like, what's the word, like, adequate... No, more than adequate. More than adequate replacements, you know. Kutumelo has been scoring goals. Man's Tabiso Kutumelo got called up. Also, we just said five and five. So, me, I don't have any worries about the Bafana squad that we're going to put forward to play Sudan and Ghana. So, I think it's their problem on that, like Sudan and Ghana. I'm so excited because it is just three points. It is just three points. I mean... But I'm scared to be too hopeful. You know? With Bafana because your guys... They've made me cry. Yeah. <laughs> I think the worst the worst part that ever happened in the Bafana qualification was that, that one year where we, we, we thought we qualified, you know. They scored the goal, game was over, they were dancing, everybody was celebrating, only to turn out we didn't even qualify for the tournament, guys. It was head-to-head rules, things happen, you know. 
then all of a sudden we weren't playing in the AFCON. We were just uh, watching it at home. Our current situation is good though, because you know, sometimes numbers and maths I'm not good at. <laughs> and if Bafana win three points, we don't have to start doing maths. We don't have to be like, well, we need we need Ghana to draw here yeah. and then a loss here and then a win here. No yeah. maths. Just, just Sudan to concede like four goals in this match and Sao Tome, you know, to, to score five. It, it, I think it's best like that. I think personally, out of out of the two games, it's maybe going to be like a Ghana draw or so. You know, I think, okay, I'm just going to say a Ghana draw and then probably we're going to beat Sudan. So we will get the job done, you know. I don't know about you. I find I win. Both games? Always, yes. Six points. You'll never catch me slipping. Not on these streets. Bafana are winning, guys. But I'm, I'm the delusional fan. <laughs> Bafana are winning. You'll never, ever, ever, ever catch me slipping. Drop a comment, let us know. Um, how did you find the Soweto derby? Chiefs fans, come through, celebrate. There was no Chiefs slander report this <laughs> week. Um, let us know what you think is going to happen in the AFCON. Which players should have been in the squad, aren't in the squad. Mm. Are, are Bafana going to beat Ghana? And then have back-to-back wins with a, a win against Sudan. That'll be big. That'll be scenes. scenes. That'll be madness. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Next week, I will have a better voice. Um, until next time, it's always love. You know the vibes. <laughs> you know the vibes. <laughs>